Okay, let's go. So we are going to be starting by downloading um, the files we'll be making use of through the link that you'll be seeing when you read your um, instructions. So you click on the link and you open in a new tab. Then you see this example.log, example2.log, and uh, webserver.log. So all you need to do is to download them directly. So when you download them directly, those files will be uh, downloaded and put in your download um, um, folder on your PC. And you can see the process of downloading is what I'm presently doing. So make sure I download the example.log, the web server, and And once I'm done downloading those, you can see right now that I'm in my download folder. Now this download folder is not my Kali Linux download folder, so this is the download folder on my own device, on my laptop. So from there I copy um, the three downloaded folder, then I'm going to go into my Kali Linux uh, operating system, open the folders, and locate download, then impute them there. So instead of you, you know, logging in your um, learn details in your um, Kali Linux so just follow this process so once I'm done I'm going to try to check check this in my um, terminal so I will I use the ls command ls l in long format then I cd downloads now it's doing using the cd download then I ls again this is actually going to show me now you can see successfully we have those three files uh, inside our download so now uh, what I'm going to do now is to move them into now uh, is to move them into my home directory so moving them into my home directory, I'm going to use the MV command so the, I'm going to move them to so MV um, space example dot log example two dot log and space um, web server dot log and I'm going to move it to the home directory using for slash home uh, for this, uh, it's going to be it's, uh, it's telling me right now that permission denied. So, what I'm just going to do is to add my sudo. So, just to give it permission, then put in my password. And now I'm done. So, after this, you can see that uh, there are no more in my downloads. Uh, but when I go to my home directory, I'm going to see them here in my home directory. Now we have all of the three files in my home directory. Now, uh, and the next step right now is to use our cat command what is the essence of the cat command the cat command is used to view the content of one file or two files right so not the content of a directory but now we are talking about files um, the cat command is used to view the content in a file in a file right so you can see right now i just did my cat example.log and uh, it is showing me the content of the cat example.log and uh, aside from that you can also open two or more files if there are three files you can open the three of them together you know you can view their content together and also you can see me using the cat tag n and when i use the tag n with my cat i'm actually telling um, the terminal the, the system to give me those um, information um, not alone but making naming and um, giving them um, line numbers right giving them line numbers you can see from we have from one to three hundred and uh, seventy lines right and after, aside from that it is it in order for us to save the output also the direction so now if you want to view your output but you don't want it to be viewed to you but you want that output to be sent you want to redirect that output into another uh i'm so sorry for that noise uh, uh the power white no power white <laughs> so we are going to be using the cat command to view the output but instead of it showing us we are going to be saying that it should actually put it inside a file new file called access underscore log dot log so instead of you showing me this output why don't you just pick this out and this information and input it into our a new uh, location right so that is exactly what we are going to do now so we are going to be using the sudo cat stack n example the log then the greater last sign then the access underscore log dot org now yeah, the access underscore dot log dot log is going to be in our uh, um, directory that is the major home directory so we do that so once we are done with this uh next the next the next thing for us to do now is 
say use the add command to show the first 10 lines of the uh, the information that you have inside the access underscore log blog so how to use the add uh, to show the first 10 lines so you use add that end the number of line 10 then access log you can see that it's showing us the first 10 line um simultaneously we'll be doing or we'll be performing these tasks to for um the uh, using less also showing us the using tail showing us the last 10 lines also so we impute the command like so and voila this shows you the last 10 lines and so additionally we are going to be viewing um, the checking the location of our var um, store slash log or slash system log and we are going to be imputing um, a text called any text into it so first what i'm going to do is to view um, the log to so you can actually see how this is so Moving to the log now, you do cd4 slash var4 slash log. Now you'll be inside this page. Now you can locate our system log. You can see it's a, it is a file, not a directory. So you do cat system log. So when you do the cat system log, you can see now take note of the last line. You can see the last line is was successful. That is the successful. Now let's just input something there using logger. So logger any text. Now if you do your cat again, you can see now that the logger command actually helps us to impute text, impute information into our system log. And this is how we impute information into our system log. Uh, aside from that, the next co um, um, command we are going to be using is the grip command. So we are going to be the grip command is used to actually search for information for files for for particular for specific characters for any characters also any type of character in a given file so we are going to be using um, the grip command with tag i looking telling the um, saying telling the computer that we want you to highlight every place everywhere where you are going to where you see um kali inside of our vr dot slash log slash system log so you can see right now it is it has highlighted every place where Kali is being um, written. So uh, uh, simultaneously, I want us to try this again with maybe system like system MD. So try that to use the grip command system D. So it is going to highlight everywhere it sees that also. And you can see yeah, the result is really amazing. Uh, one more time, I will want us to try this with 2023 also. So anywhere it sees 2023, it is going to highlight 2023 for us. And voila, this is it all over again. Now, uh, the, 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 these are few tasks, these are few that these are ways at which we can search for information in uh, our files. Also, uh, another filter I want us to, uh, um, to, to use again is the grip uh, um, box calibrations. Um, this box calibrations is actually called. Uh, now we are going to be looking for um, places where it found PLC. So the PLC is right here. So everywhere it find, find P, find L, and it find C. So it's going to actually look for those information for us. Just those information alone. Now uh, the other one we are going to be working with, um, the last one we are going to be working with right now is to filter IP addresses. So we want to filter an output, uh, the output of a log that contain IP addresses. So we are going to be using the grip command, also using the grip capital letter E, uh, the, 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 this um, bracket character. IP addresses in our web server and where is the location of our web server don't forget the location of our web server is in forward slash home forward slash web server and you can see right now that it has given us uh, listed out all of the 
IP addresses that we have in our web server.log. Thank you very much, and I hope this uh, is very helpful. And see you in our next class. Greatness, everybody. Woo!